Hi, good night. Oh, good evening, sorry. Good, good evening. Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you? Good evening. Fine, thank you. And you? Fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. One more day and it's Friday. Yes, yes. Almost weekend. Yes. A happy weekend. What do you do in the, normally, what do you do in the weekend? Normally, to take a rest, to, to go to the beach, or watching the plays, the soccer, uh, the soccer. Okay. Okay, that's good. Man, it's hot. No more rain. Yes, it's too hot. Yes. It's normally in El Salvador. <laughs> the weather hot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's very normal. Okay, let me see uh, who else is here. Katia Marisa Monterosa Figueroa. That's a long name. Nelsi, we have Sara Martinez de Sosa. Okay, let me see what we're going to do. Okay, good, more people are coming. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <clears throat> Welcome, class. Okay, good. I need more people because today we're going to talk about an interesting, an interesting topic. Okay, class, today we're going to learn something interesting. Okay, today we're going to learn something is called, hold on. Today we're going to do something that is called reported speech. Do you know what that is? No teacher. Okay. One is speech, okay. Reported speech. You know, sometimes when the president speaks on TV? Yes. The president maybe speaks one, two hours, correct? Yes. So if I didn't watch or I didn't see what he said, I ask you the next day, hey, what did he say? So you're going to tell me, you're going to report what he said, but not the two hours. You maybe will do it in three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that is a reported speech. Okay. But one thing very important, 
you have to tell me what the president said. You cannot invent something he did not say. For example, the president said, we're going to make another hospital for animals. So I ask you the next day, hey, you present? oh, he said he was going to make another hospital for animals. Good. Pero si usted dicen, he said he was going to make another hospital for animals because he doesn't care about old people. Then no, that's not correct. That's your invention because he didn't say that. Correct, do you understand? Yes. Okay, but before we learn, we learn what a reported speech is, we need to know what is a quoted speech. Do you see my chat? Yes. Do you see, what? what is that called? Excuse me, teacher. Do you, do, do you see? No, no es una carita feliz, conste. Is this, is this. Point. Okay. okay um. Suspense. Is that supposed? No, 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 don't, don't, don't look at the periods. Look at Comillas. this. Suppose. What is this? Comillas. Okay. Suppose. No, but when you write, when you write, when do we use this? When you uh, write textual. Uh, okay, who watched, who watched Titanic? Me. Okay. Me. Yeah, I think everybody watched Titanic. What did he say when he was in the, remember, uh, in the ship? In the, who I am. What did he say? Do you remember? Uh, the board. <clears throat> okay, class, do you remember the movie Titanic? Yes or no? Did you watch it? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Yeah, there, remember, okay, right? good. There's a famous line when he's he's at the tip in the mera punta of the ship. Yes. Okay. Do you uh, remember? Rose. Rose. No, no, he's alone. He's not with Rose. Okay, did you watch I don't remember? Okay, you don't remember. Good. Okay. No. What does what does Terminator always say? Uh, no, Terminator. No. Oh my God! Do you, we don't watch movies. This is this is pop culture. We know. Like, baby. It's like exactly. Yeah. I'll be back, baby. Uh huh. Oh man, I'm moving on my teclado. Terminator, he said, I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, this is pop culture, popular culture. Uh, in Titanic, he said, I am the king of the world. But listen, he said, I'll be back. Correct? Is that what Terminator said? Yes. Yes? So when I do this, I am saying exactly what he said. Yes. So this is not correct. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Is this correct? Oh, I'm sorry, hold on, let me erase this. You're making a literal allusion to the speech. Yes. Is this correct? He said he will be back. La última oración, is that correct? Yes. 
Are, are you seeing the chat? Is yes. that first? It's not correct. It's the first one. It's the correct, the first one, right? He said, he yes. said, comma, I'll be back. Literalmente yes. así lo dijo, I'll be back. He said, I'll be back. That's quote. But is this correct? La última. He said he will be back. No. 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 All right. So this is not correct. The last one. So. Las comillas se llaman quotations. Quotations. <clears throat> How do you write? Okay, thank you. Okay. So, so quoted speech is this I will be back. So listen, it is impossible for you to tell me the next day what the president said, quoted speech. It's impossible, right? You cannot tell me in two hours, palabra por palabra lo que dijo. Cuando uno usa quoted speech, no cambiamos pronombres nada. ¿Qué dijo el Terminator? Él dijo, yo volveré. ¿Qué dijo Terminator? Ah, dijo que iba a volver. Ah, eso es diferente. Eso ya no es quoted speech. Ok. Do you yes. I'm sorry. It could be uh, he said that he will be back. Yes, actually, eso es lo que vamos a hacer hoy. That's, we will do that today. But what I'm saying is to understand that, we need to understand what is a quoted speech. Do you understand what is a quoted speech? Yes. 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 Literalmente lo que dijo. Exacto. No le pueden agregar ni más, ni menos, ni cambiar ningún pronombre, nada. It's the same in Spanish, okay. Yes, it's the same in Spanish. No sé cómo se llama eso en español. Citar textualmente. Cita textual. Okay. Citar textualmente. Okay, thank you, yeah. ¿Quién era? ¿Quién era? Ah, por tío Cuadra que dijo, ofrendo mi vida, dictador. <laughs> Literally, he said, I offer my life. <laughs> It's funny. I offer my life, right? Okay. So we understand what is a quoted speech, correct? Yes. Okay, good. Today, we're going to see Reported speech. Reported speech is, you tell me what he said, but in your version. You tell me what he said in your version. What did Terminator said? Poor. Dijo, dijo que va a volver, viejo. He said, he said he will return. Will be back. Uh -huh. He said he will be back. Okay. I change, maybe I change the words, but the story is the same. What did Jack say in the, in the Titanic? He said he was the happiest person in the world. No dijo eso, pero eso quiso decir, right? Because if we go quoted, he said, I am the king of the world. Y que dijo, ah, dijo que era lo máximo. He said he was the happiest person in the world. So, por eso se llama reported, y de ahí viene reportero, la palabra reportero. Porque reportero reporta la noticia a su versión. 
y ahí empiezan los chambres. Es bien diferente ver una noticia en el faro a verla en el diario El Salvador. Porque sí, si se dan cuenta, siempre dicen lo que pasó, pero le dan un twist. Como, hmm. Ok. One important thing in reported speech. We say everything in past. What the Terminator said, he said he was going to come back. ¿Qué dijo el Terminator? Dijo que iba a volver. Oigan también, en, pasado, en español lo decimos en pasado. Él dijo que iba a volver. He said he was going to come back. ¿Qué dijo Jack? Él dijo que era el rey del mundo. Era, era past. So in English, he said he was the king. So it's not correct to say he said he is the king. No. He said he was. Two actions in the past. He said he was the king. Mayra, hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, where do you live? I live in Cincinnati. Okay, are you married? Uh, yes, I'm married and I have two children. Two children? Yes. So are you going to have a third child? Uh, no. Why not? Um, it's a lot of money. It's expensive to have another children. Okay, very good, thank you. Sergio. Yes, teacher. What did, is Mayra married? I'm married. Sergio, is Mayra married? Excuse me, teacher. Is Mayra married? Ah, uh, yeah, she is married. Okay. What, what she said she... she was, she said she was married. Okay, very good. Reported speech, yes. Ella no me respondió eso. Ella me respondió, yes, I am. Pero, yes. Pero eso quiso decir, Sergio. She says she was married. Okay. Y ahora, quoted speech, Sergio. Oh, okay. Um, Mayra said, uh, I am married. And I have two children. No, she said, no, no, wait, wait, no don't change. The, listen, my question is, oh. is she married? She said, yes, I am. Oh, okay. She said, yes, I am. <laughs> very good. Very good. That I is understand. quoted speech. Very good. And I reported would. speech. Yeah, she said she's married. Okay. Uh, how many children does she have? Reported speech. Reported speech? Yes. No, no, just a oh. normal answer. How many children does she have? Uh, she, uh, she said she has... She had two children. Very good. Everything in past. She said she had two, right? Yeah. Okay. And why not three? Report, uh, quote speech. Why not three? Uh, um, uh, she said, quotation marks, uh, it's too expensive to have another children. Very Another good. child. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So why not three children? Give me a reported speech. She said. She said it was too expensive to have another, another child. Yeah. Very good. She says, okay, good. Ahora aquí va a reported speech. She said it was too expensive. She said just to, the situation is too difficult in this moment to have another child. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes, it's correct yeah. because eso quiso decir ella, right? <clears throat> no me estoy desviando de lo que ella dijo. Ahora, eso sí es de bio. She said she doesn't want no more children. 
<laughs> bueno, también eso dijo. Pero... Okay, she said that she said that children are too many children is bad. Ahí sí estoy mintiendo, because eso no dijo ella ni lo que quería decir. Ella no dijo que muchos niños, tener muchos niños es malo. Right? She said, she said the situation recently is very difficult. It's difficult to have more children. That's what she said. Okay, so do you understand now what is a reported speech? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. Um, Mister. Yes. Uh, doesn't matter if uh, the, the time of the of the answer to the person. We will see that. We will see that. Porque it always goes back one. For example, Mayra, when I was speaking with Mayra, in present time, she says no. It says simple present, I go simple past. Yes. But in simple past, past oh. you go past perfect. You always go one back. We will see that. Uh, I said, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> for, for example, uh, Mayra said that she, uh, she had uh, two children, right? She said she had. She said she had, yeah. But uh, she has the children now, so it doesn't matter the, the time in, in no. the No. Uh, it, uh, in Spanish, it's the same. Ella dijo que tenía dos hijos. But if I say, ella dijo que tiene dos hijos. <laughs> yeah, but no, I understand that, but grammatically, it's not correct. Porque fue algo que ya, okay. desde, desde que usted dijo, ella dijo, we're speaking past. Ok. Sí. Estamos hablando de, de lo que ella dijo, de la acción, no, no de... Ya, pero I, I understand, I, I see your point. Ok. Teacher, yeah. maybe it's because we assume that in that moment was a true. But when I uh, exactly. give my report, I'm not sure if that reality is, 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 is right. It's real. Yeah. yeah. Imagine la famosa. Hey, ella dijo que no tenía novio. <laughs> Imagine in this moment. Do you have a Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Let's go to the movies. And then suddenly her boyfriend appears. Who are you? Hey, I'm sorry, man. She said mm -hmm. she didn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> ella me dijo que no tenía novio en ese momento. Yeah. No, but right now we will see the grammar. Vamos a verlo. But do you understand now the difference between a reported speech and a quoted speech? The quoted speech is very simple because you, you literally say what she said. Yes? Yes. The reported speech is your version of what she said. Okay, Milton, do you understand? Yes. Reported, reported speech is uh, that is that is that I say the the other person, but core speech is the exactly the other person says. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So that's yes. why that's why imagine the president today he had a national um, speech. And I didn't watch it. So the next day I ask you, hey, what did the president say? Of course, you're going to give me a reported speech. Because the two hours you will tell me maybe in two or three sentences. That is a reported speech. But something that is not correct is when you report a speech and you report something that she did not mention. That is not correct. That is a lie. Yes. For example, Mayra has two children and she's not planning on having three. But if I say, um, oh, Mayra says she has two children. She said she had two children. And if she's pregnant again, she will have an abortion. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, she didn't say that. She did not say that. 
She says she had two children and she doesn't want three because the situation is too difficult. Yeah, okay, that's what she said. But if I if I mention abortion and todo eso, I am a liar. Okay? Yes. Okay. All right, so let's watch the video. No, maybe it's confusing to you right now or not, but what I want you to know is the difference between a reported speech and a quoted speech. A mi clase de TOEFL los pongo a veces cuando tocamos este tema a que me digan quoted speech de Mágico González. Oh, it's funny. Positivismo, teacher. Yeah, uh -huh, porque Mágico González tiene unos... Positivites. Positivites. It's quoted speech, teacher, in this case. Yeah, imagine positivities. How the hell do you say that in quoted speech? Quoted speech, okay. <laughs> it's impossible. Or or it's funny to report a speech of Sanchez Seren. It's funny too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's watch a video to understand a little bit more about this. And uh, Marcela, I here we will explain right now. But what oh, so so what do we know about Reported speech. What is reported speech? Imagine from the 10 minutes we've been talking, 20 minutes. What is a reported speech, Juan Jose? Reported speech. Mm -hmm. Okay, when something says uh, something, uh, when when one people, one person say something and you, in your own word, um, um, repeat, repeat. Okay, very good. Uh, hmm? And what is one very important thing? You, you always say it in past, right? When you report, always in past, not in present. Okay. Yes. Do you remember when you tell your mother or your father, hey, me dijiste que si sacaba buenas notas, me ibas a comprar el teléfono. You see, everything is in past. Yes. Yeah, Marcela, remember? Maybe your parents told you in present, si saca buenas notas, te compro un teléfono. Good. Pero ya cuando uno le reclama, hey, me dijiste que si sacaba buenas notas, me ibas. You see, even in Spanish, sigue las mismas reglas. You can say, did you say me? No, you told me. Oh, you told me. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Let me see the video. Mr. Postman, give me a green. All right. Do you see my do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, yes. cool. Let's do this. Hi, I'm sorry. What did you say? This time you will be able to report what someone has said to you, Can you hear? or to someone else. Yes. Yes. Reported speech. Statements. It's a big secret. Report statements. He said that it was a big secret. I'm getting a terrible grade. He said that he was getting a terrible grade. They got engaged. He said that they had gotten engaged. We weren't talking about you. They claimed that they hadn't been talking about me. She's been absent since Tuesday. He said that she had been absent since Tuesday. We had never been there before. She said that they had never been there before. I'll meet you at the cafe. He said that he would meet me at the cafe. Reported questions. I asked him if he had known about the layoffs. What are you saying? I asked them what they were saying. Commands. Don't say anything. Reported commands. He warned his friends not to say anything. General truths. The sun rises in the east. Reported general truths. She said that the sun rises in the east. Not change in tense. 
Let's talk about reported speech. We often use reported speech too. Number one, give someone a telephone message. Number two, tell someone news that we heard from someone else. Number three, to report something that happened earlier. Now, how do we use it? When we use reported speech, we are usually talking about something that happened in the past. Therefore, verbs usually change to a tense one step in the past. Follow us in these examples. John said, I do a lot of homework. John said that he did a lot of homework. John said, I did a lot of homework last week. John said that he had done a lot of homework the previous week. This is what we mean when we say the verbs usually change to a tense one step in the past. For example, um is becomes was, are becomes were, have has becomes had, can becomes could, will becomes would. <coughs> Something else we need you to take into account are these changes. Here becomes there, this these becomes that those. Today, tonight, becomes that day, that night. Yesterday becomes the day before. Last week, last month, becomes the previous week, the previous month, or the week before, the month before. Tomorrow becomes the next day, the following day. Next week, next month, becomes the following week, the following month. But we do have some exceptions to the rules. There is no change in tense when reporting general truth, and no tense change in immediately reported speech. Also take note about this, that is optional. Let's go over questions in reported speech. Remember we have WH questions and yes no questions. For example, where do you work? She asked me where I worked. Whereas in yes no questions in reported speech becomes if. Before we go, we have to go over commands in reported speech. With commands, the verb in simple present becomes an infinitive. Don't plus simple present becomes not plus infinitive. Please change the following sentences to reported speech. Type them on our discussion box. She eats pasta. We came late. I am happy. Okay, so this is pretty much what we're talking about. Okay, she said, he said. This, these, becomes that, those. T today, tonight. Okay, let's do one thing. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Miguel Ramirez, are you married? Yes, teacher, I am married. Do you remember what you said to your wife when you asked her to marry you? Yes, I accept. I accept. She was that, so she asked you. <laughs> no, please. I, I remember I uh the uh, that person is we married with my wife is uh, you are said yes i said wait 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 a person was married with your wife yes how do you say is is caso a tramit legal tramit oh okay the person that married us that married us oh okay okay is uh, I remember is the day uh, that person who married us. Uh, he say uh, you are set. I am set. Okay, but my question is what? Okay, what or where did you ask your wife to marry you? Oh. Uh, I am and my wife is. Uh, I said um, it's it's a problem because 
uh, I I say that for my girlfriend in this moment is because you and me is I don't marry it. Uh, my wife, uh, my girlfriend in this moment, she say because you not is a question. You don't ask me. Yes. Yes, I, I, I am not uh, said the proposed for she is uh, to her. Yes, to her. Okay. Listen to this, Miguel. One day I asked my girlfriend why aren't we married? She said, you haven't asked me. Oh. So I asked her to marry me. To marry. I said exactly your same story, but I said it more simple. Okay. You understand? I understand. I understand your story. But okay, okay. sometimes if it's difficult for you to, because when I know that you want to say many things. Oh. Que quería decir que una vez estábamos, yo dije, ¿por qué no nos hemos casado? Ya me dijo, pues sí, nunca me ha preguntado. Entonces, uh, you know, yeah. I understand. That's what you want to say, right? Okay, good. But when you're learning another language, it's a little difficult. So speak very, very simple. And oh, okay. it will be better for the vocabulary. But good, good. Yes. yes. All right. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I, um, Sergio. Oh, we, we, we. Oh, yeah. Ma, uh, Ma, Maritza, I'm sorry. I, she has not participated today. Maritza, okay. are you there? I'm here. Maritza, you have children, correct? Yes, I have two daughters. You have two daughters. Remember yes. your first daughter? When she was born? born? Yes. Yes, I remember. <laughs> no, no, not when she was born. Remember when you discovered you are pregnant? Do you remember? I was scary. <laughs> okay, good. What did you, okay, do you remember? What did exactly, what did your husband say when you told him, hey, I'm pregnant? We went together to take the, 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 the exam, to, to make me the exam. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I didn't, I didn't tell him anything because we, we read the, 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 the exam together. Oh, okay. How old is your daughter? The first one? She's 21 years old. And the second? The second is 14. 14, so there's yes, a big so. difference. What did your oldest daughter say when you told her you will have a sister? What did she say? Uh, Do you remember? She she was very happy because she wanted to have a, a, a sister. She thought uh, she can play with someone because she was an only child. Okay. And now they fight. <laughs> And the, uh, like uh, one year later, when she, the, my little girl born, the, she asked me, the, the older asked me, uh, why don't we give uh, <laughs> my sister <laughs> to someone? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, good, good, good. Marielos. Hi, teacher. Hi, you have Hello. six children, I remember. Yes. Oh man, that's a lot of children. You need to talk with um, Maida. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a <her> decision. <laughs> yes. No, no, yeah. I'm I, I wish I wish I had one more child, but I can't. I only okay. have one. So, what did your husband say the first time you got pregnant? Do you remember? 
Uh, yes, I, I remember that because uh, we was uh, waiting for for a daughter or for a song. Um, and when we discovered. Uh, but do you remember what he said? Excuse me? Oh, yeah, I, I said that this was possible. <laughs> okay. No, we, but not, not uh, okay. what you said. When you told him, hey, I'm pregnant. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What did I, he say? Ah, uh, what did he, he said? Um, he told me that he was very happy. Okay. Oh, very good. Yeah. He's, he said he was very happy. Very good. Yeah. All right, cool. Alguien aquí, algún chico aquí tuvo algún susto cuando eran pícaros novios y tuvieron un susto. Oh my God, I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh, yo tuve como cinco veces aquí. Wow. I'm pregnant. <laughs> huh? What did you say? I said, huh? <laughs> no, okay. Uh, good. I remember I told my mother, when I told my mother, mom, I'm going to be a father. She said, wow, finally. All right. Juan Jose Campos. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Tell me. Um, how many children does Mariello have? Uh, she said that she had six. Excellent. Good. She said that she had six. Awesome. Marce, where did Sara say she worked? <laughs> Said that she worked in a school center. Very good. Miguel, how old is Marcela? Is Marcela? She said. Uh, she said, I. Sorry, teacher, I don't remember. She is an adult now. Su she's primer año de adulto. She's an adult. So how old is she? She's an adult. Okay. She's. She, ahí está la pista, Miguel. She said, okay, she is, is officially, she is an adult now. 18 oh. years old. Oh. When are you an adult in El Salvador? 18 years old. 21 years old. 21. 21. Is yeah. we doing? No, but mayor de edad, 18. Adult oh. is 21. 21. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. No worries. Okay, so she said she was 21. She said she was 21. Okay. All right. Sergio, where, where did Marcela said she worked? Don't remember, teacher. Oh, who remembers? Me, teacher. All right, tell me, please. Marcela said that she didn't work. She okay. only studied. All right, cool. Yes, remember she said that she didn't work. She only studied. Awesome, very good. Thank you. Estas cosas ayudan, verdad? <laughs> yeah, you know, I work, I, yeah, I work from home and I, I always use this. I, I am always, <laughs> yes, yeah, I, I need to buy more. <laughs> All right, very good, people. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm very happy for you because it's not difficult. With some classes, this is very difficult. They, they don't understand very well. Teacher. Yes. And how many hours a day did do you teach? In the day, I don't teach. In the day, I am um, 
an interpreter. Okay. It's, it's very interesting what I do because I work with a company in the United States. So when people go to hospitals, pharmacies or seguros, seguros like the carro, as a Suiza, something mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. they say, I need an interpreter. So then the doctor calls the company and boom, I get the call and I said, hello, my name is David. I will be your interpreter today. And I start, I, I start interpreting. That's nice. And then it's a kind of call center or is a, a direct contract? No, it's a, it's a direct contract. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, don't worry. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's not a call center. Maybe it's a back office. Okay. Because different from a call center, yes, I get calls, but uh, I don't have metrics or anything. Mm -hmm. So it's very good because I learn a lot in medicine. Yes. Yeah, I learn a nice. lot, a lot. That's yeah. nice. And do you receive many calls a day? Yes, but, but I love it. I love it because... Um, it's, it's very interesting. Um, one time I received a call from this lady and she was schizophrenic. My goodness. Yes, it was. And I was speaking with the psychiatrist and the lady. And the lady was saying, please, please tell my family I am not crazy. I hear mm -hmm. voices, please. Give me medicine, give me drugs, please kill me. Wow. You know, in Spanish, wow. por favor, saquenme estas voces, no aguanto, mi familia piensa que estoy loco, mateme, doctora. Mm. Teacher, and that, yeah. and that people, and the, those Very people uh, live here in the suburb? Or no, 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 it's in the United States. Oh. oh. No, no, it's in the United States. And then I have to interpret that to the doctor. Doctor, please, please kill me. I am not crazy. My family thinks I'm crazy. I hear voices. Oh. And, and the doctor, what do you hear in the voice? You know, que escucha en esas voces? Mm -hmm. Que le dicen? Es Jesucristo hablando me. O sea, es... Pobre, pobrecita la gente esquizofrénica, por eso entiendo por qué se matan después, porque no cure, there's no cure. There's no cure. Can, can you imagine you're sleeping or, and you hear voices and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, go, go away and you can't? Debe ser tormentoso. How yes. Is tormentoso in horrible, horrible. Mm -hmm. uh, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I have many, many cases. But Lat Latino people, we are very, we are very bad. For example, women that have children, like, uh, I don't know, we're, we're not very responsible. <laughs> but, but, it, but my job is very interesting. I love what I do. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, the, the people, Accept uh, that uh, you help us? Well, I give a disclosure before, because like, let's say, um, for example, let's say if, um, Let's say, I'm sorry, okay, I, I was hearing noise. No, because let's say Maritza, Maritza, you go, you go in the United States and you go to a doctor, right? The entrada, they ask you, do you need an interpreter? And she says, oh, or she or Maritza say, I will need an interpreter. Okay, no problem. So then, you know, then they call me. And then I and then the doctor presents herself. Hi, I am Dr. Hooligan. And I say, hi, doctor, I will be your interpreter in Spanish today, blah, blah, blah. Y después, hola, Maritza, yo voy a ser su intérprete en inglés el día de hoy. Por favor, si le pido que me hablen frases cortas, 
you know? And then I start interpreting. Man, pero los caribeños sí son cosas serias. <laughs> ¿Qué sienten? Bueno, pues fíjate que chico, yo estuve en uh, start like bla, 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 bla. Ok, señora, por favor, le voy a repetir que me hablen frases cortas. Porque tengo que interpretar palabra por palabra que usted me dice. Vaya. Yo estaba ahí esperando, estaba mi tío. Entonces, cuando vino mi tío, él me dijo, oye, cuídate, no te vayas a parar. Entonces, yo me paré y me dijo, tuvo que decir eso. Yo, oh, my God, it's very difficult. Did you, you translate exactly what they say? Yes. Oh, my goodness. No, but after, after I learned to control the, the call. Okay. Because I am very strict. I tell her, señora, mm -hmm. vuelvo y repito. Yo tengo que interpretar lo que usted dice. Me lo dice por partes. And then they, cuando le digo por partes, oh, then they slow down. Okay. <laughs> they, yeah. Some doctors too. But maybe someday you will do that. It's very, it's very good. You yes, know, I yes. always recommend you, I always recommend my students the, or the young, young students. I recommend you work in a call center. It's a very good experience. Okay. It's a very good experience because English. <laughs> Imagine you will be there 10 hours, nine, 10 hours every mm -hmm. day speaking English is your university. Yes. Yes. In call centers, for example, in TELUS, there are some people there that they don't need to work. Some rich people, some rich kids, but they just go there just to speak English. Mm -hmm. So it's cool. <laughs> All right. So that's what I do. I interpret, but I don't translate. I interpret. Okay. Do you, know you the, do you know the difference between translate and interpret? Um, yes, I think mm -hmm. is translator is the to traduce. I don't know if it's correct. Traduce the what exact a text, for example, are exactly mm -hmm. paragraph. Yeah, that you know that's why I always recommend people not to watch subtitles, subtitles, mm -hmm. because the subtitles they're good but what the subtitles do they interpret yes they don't translate let me give you an example imagine you're watching a movie and ta, ta, ta. oh man oh man mm -hmm. in subtitles they say oh rayos yes and people say no no dijo rayos dijo oh hombre pero no se va a ir correcto decir oh hombre <laughs> Teacher, and there is uh, another thing about the names of the movies because if you read the uh, the the title of mm -hmm. the movie, it's different that the people says what it's meaning or what it's yes. called. But you know, I was reading that they do that. I don't know why in Mexico is is the office of they decide the name of the movie or of the TV show, because what they want is people to relate. Um, I always have, have this question because sometimes the, the title is totally different yes. what the people say the, uh, the name. Yeah, because for example, do you remember that show Full House, que es tres por tres? Mm -hmm. Eso sí, sabe quién se inventó tres por tres, pero Full House <laughs> es casa llena. Mm -hmm. So they thought that maybe that's not attractive because people will not want to see Casa Llena. Mm, so, pongámosle okay. tres por tres. En maybe it's a commercial mejor. name. Then. Yes, mm -hmm. okay. exactly. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. It's very, it's very interesting. I recommend you to do that. Try to trans, uh, try to interpret what they've said. Hoy que aprendieron, están aprendiendo reported speech. Try to interpret what somebody says. It's very, it's very interesting. Teacher and an interpreter uh, always sell the things in reporter speech. Ah, good question. No, I say it in quoted speech. Oh, okay. Yes, I yeah, say it. Who, could you please? Tell me what is correct speech? How do you spell the word? Because I don't understand exactly. Oh, no worries. Somebody, you, one of your classmates will explain. Who can explain I, to Irena? Okay, 
Thank you, because I, I, I am right late to the class, sorry. No, it's okay, very good, no, no worries, but we have experts here. Who can explain to Irena what is a quoted speech? When you Only say one. The, the, the people, what the people said, literal, lit, literally. Okay, but the word, the word, how is the spell quarter? How do you write? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Because, um, Irena, do you see my fingers? Uh, yes, yes. In, in English, these, mm -hmm. they're called quotation marks. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. In Spanish, they're called comillas. In English, mm -hmm. they're called marcas de quotation. Mm -hmm. So let me spell that for you in, in the chat. In the chat is, is right. Okay, wait. Oh, I can't right now because I'm sharing my screen. Es así como se oye, cuoted. Ah, uh, okay. Now, now I got a teacher. Okay, okay, good. Thank you, thank you. Oh, no problem, no problem. Miren, es otra cosa que yo les recomiendo que no mucha gente hace. Escriban la palabra en la forma correcta. Y entre paréntesis, escriban como ustedes la oyen y creen que se escribe, se dice. Les ayuda mucho. Porque eso sí es feo del inglés y sí es muy bonito del español. Que el español, como se pronuncia, se lee y se escribe. El inglés no. <ríe> Les voy a dar un, un ejemplo bien fácil. One. One. Uh -huh. Un latino va a leer one, one, oni, o one, one. Nadie se va a imaginar que es one. Entonces yo lo escribiría one. Y yo no sé, yo lo oigo como W, A, N. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. One. One. Yes. Y pongo uno. Igual solo yo me entiendo mis, mis notas. Ya. Yeah. Um, eso es un, es un consejo que les doy. Escríbanlo como lo oyen también. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. Very It's cool. I do that. When I'm interpreting, I always have notes. Because I know that only I understand my notes. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, uh. Oh yeah, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Who else is here? Okay, I know Irena, Maritza, Marielos, Marcela, Sergio, Miguel, and Juan are present. Katia, I think you're still sick. It's okay, if you can't talk, but it's no problem. I am here. <laughs> how, how are you? Oh, and Sara, thank you. How are you, Katia? How is your COVID? I, I right? am better, better oh. than yesterday. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You know what? You know, um, in the United States, because I talk to doctors every day, the majority are always doctors, doctors, doctors. Doctors in the United States, they take seriously COVID and vaccines. I was, I was telling my wife that in my, you know, I said to my papa esto, in the the doctors in the United States, they recommend adults to take the, the vaccine, la, la de refuerzo. Sí, pero ya me la tomé, ya me tomé dos. Ok, pero si puede, en seis, siete meses, tómese la otra. Si le ofrecen otra, pero des, des un lapso de seis o siete meses. Es recomendado para la gente de 50 años para arriba tener, hacerse eso. So, Okay, teacher. No, 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 no say sino que lo hagan, pero it's just a, it's just a recommendation. You know, hey, yo yes. tomo notas. <laughs> like, yeah, like. <laughs> okay, um, so Katia, so are you feel much better now? Yes, teacher. Can I'm you better. smell? Can you smell? Yes. Yes, okay. only one day I I couldn't smell and taste. <laughs> I couldn't smell for one week. It was horrible. Mm. I couldn't smell and taste. I remember I, I take a shower and I smell and say, oh my God, que feo esto. 
I was, I was a little desperate. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, um, let me see. Miguel, do you remember why Katia said that? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Miguel, what is that noise? That noise, teacher? Wait, hold on. Let me, hear, let me see something. Yes, it's you. But I can't say nada. No. So look, porque lo puse en modo. No. Let me see. Teacher, yeah. did you remember that in the in the last module that I was with you, mm -hmm. there was a, a a classmate that it was a noise too. That was Larry. Yes, Larry in Santa Ana. Yes, that he <laughs> yes. never understood why. <laughs> yes. yes, I remember. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, Miguel, I, maybe you don't, you don't know, but it, it, the, you hear this, like. Sorry, I know it's the show side. <laughs> I make up. Oh, okay. No, 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 no worries. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. What, what, what happened to Katia? Is she sick? Yes. What did she, she say? She said with COVID. She said with COVID. She didn't say that. What did she say? She said. She said. She is. She have. She with COVID. Uh, she has or she had. She has. So no, she, she had. She had. Remember everything in past. You report in past. Oh yes. She said that she had COVID. She had COVID. Okay. okay. Vaya, mañana, mañana vamos a seguir con esto, pero nos vamos a ir otro más para atrás. Vaya, por ejemplo, yo tuve COVID. Oigan esto, la diferencia, Katia dice, yo tengo COVID. ¿Qué dijo Katia? Ella dijo que tenía COVID. Ok, good. Pero hoy yo estoy hablando en pasado, en tiempo presente. Hey, yo tuve COVID. ¿Qué dijo el teacher? Ah, él dijo que había tenido COVID. Siempre me regreso un tiempo más atrás. ¿Ya? Yes. Sí, vas. Entonces, él dijo que había tenido COVID. Eso que vamos a aprender mañana. He said he had had COVID. Had, had. You see, had. It, it sounds like a car. Yeah. It's past present. Sí. Past perfect. Oh, okay. past, past perfect. Had. Hot. Uh, hot, hot. Hot, hot. Perfect. Oh, perfect. So remember, if 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 Katia said simple present, I report simple past. If Katia said simple past, I report past perfect. Yeah. yeah. It's in English and in Spanish, the same thing, the same rule. Okay. Okay, then thank you very much, class. I will see you thank tomorrow. You, you. Remember, there's class tomorrow. Okay. okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Yo Man, los, los, tomorrow. los voy a invitar mañana a pupusas, okay? Okay. okay. Virtualmente, <laughs> virtualmente. Ah. 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 Right, teacher. It's virtual. Okay, teacher, we are going to send you our directions. No, our every, address. everything is virtual now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.